Welcome back and today we're talking about Rent a Girlfriend episode 7. So like always, let's just jump into it. Now this episode is what I like to call the official start of Kasuya's harem, okay? This is where I think he's going to start pulling a lot of different girls. There's one more girl, I believe, that we have yet to get introduced. And once she comes in, there's gonna be four total. And I'm wondering if it's gonna be like a battle royale. Are they all gonna be fighting over uh, Kasuya? Now, we have to talk about Ruka. This episode definitely focused all about her and Shizuru kinda trying to be like the middleman in between what's going on between Shizuru Kasuya and, and, and Ruka, right? Because Ruka, she's definitely a little, a little bit crazy. I wouldn't say she's mommy crazy because she's on a whole different level. You know, mommy would ruin your life while Ruka will kind of just love you too much and then maybe she, if she's not feeling it later on, I feel like she would kind of break it off and not ruin your life. So if I had to choose between mommy or Ruka, I mean, I would, you, I, would, I would choose the lesser evil that is Ruka because yes, she is a little bit crazy. She is a little bit obsessed. But I would take that over <laughs> mommy over there that would ruin your life for generations to come. But this episode, I really loved it. It had a lot of funny moments. I mean, the whole interaction between Ruka, Shizuru, and Kasuya was really funny because we see how jealous Ruka can get. Now, we she has this weird metric to determine how she likes somebody or how much she likes somebody. It turns out that... Uh, Kasuya was able to get her heartbeat to beat at like 90 beats per minute, something along those lines. And since he's the only one to be able to do that, she's really like obsessed with him. Hopefully they go deeper into that, why she's using that as a metric. You would think that, you know, she just likes him for the way he is or the person that he is or something along those lines. But either way, hopefully they explain it, why she's using that metric. But you know, her reasoning is that right now, Kasuya, the way he treats Shizuru, even though she's a rented girlfriend, you know, they don't have that big connection, is really awesome. And she wants that for herself because she's thinking, if Kasuya treats her so nicely, imagine how he would treat his real girlfriend. So that's her reasoning behind it. I can kind of understand it. What I don't understand is how she's blackmailing him into dating her. That was kind of scummy. I mean, it's an anime, so it's no big deal, but I'm pretty sure situations like that do exist in the real world. And if people do that, I mean, that's just the worst. They definitely need some help. But, you know, it's an anime, so we can let it pass, I guess. But yeah, Ruka is definitely blackmailing uh, Kasuya. And honestly, that's like the best thing that could happen for Cassia right now. He wants a girlfriend, but he does have that bro code, you know, that friend code, because we know that his friend Cootie, even though that relationship was kind of messed up, supposedly she was a rented girlfriend, but then she admitted that she was not. She just said that so she can get close to Cassia. I mean, Ruka is just crazy. The way she just lied in this episode just to get close to Cassia is insane. But the fact remains that, you know, Kasuya does feel kind of wrong trying to date her because technically she was dating his friend. And I do respect Kasuya for doing that. But of course, I mean, it's one of those things that we human beings want what we cannot get. Maybe that's why Ruka is so obsessed with Kasuya right now. I mean, she even knows that Kasuya has feelings for Shizuru. She knows that. So yeah, that's probably going to be a huge, huge thing in the future because we got to see Kasuya and Shizuru go on a date and it wasn't a paid date, right? It was like an emergency date, but Shizuru was kind of, you know, she wasn't so worked up. She was kind of calm and it wasn't until Kasuya mentioned it that she kind of snapped back into character and started, you know, going off and stuff like that. So again, we know that Shizuru is definitely warming up to Kasuya and honestly I still am rooting for Kasuya x Shizuru. I think that's going to be the best couple. I think they bring out the best of each other so hopefully that happens but we're just gonna have to wait and see. This episode again had a lot of funny moments. I mean the whole interaction between Kasuya, Shizuru and Ruka when they were uh, in the apartment was really funny. All the emotions, all the different character animations that they did to express just how weird the situation is. I mean how do you even explain that to somebody? That you as a person, Kasuya, right, rented a girlfriend and then another girl that you met and, you know, claimed that she's also a rented girlfriend fell in love with you like head over heels. I mean, it's a crazy situation, but I am loving 
I am loving it so far. I really cannot wait what's going to happen in the future. Now, I will say there's still one more girl that we still have to meet. We don't know who she is, but she can just come in at any second. I mean, look at Ruka. I did not expect her to meet her on episode five or six, I believe, but we did. It just came out of nowhere. So for all we know, episode eight, we're going to meet a new girl. I know in the cover, there was a total of four girls so we're missing one. I wonder who she is. I wonder what she's going to bring to the table. It's probably going to be a lot more chaos, but hey, if we have to hold a battle royale between all these girls to see who gets to keep Kasuya, that's just what we're going to have to do. But overall, love the episode. I can't wait for the next one. But let me remind you that today we are streaming over on Twitch. I'll be playing some Fall Guys, maybe some Modern Warfare on my PS4. But yeah, definitely come on in. If you want to hop in and play with me, I'll share my ID so we can start playing. It's going to be a great, great stream. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this episode. And like always, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode.